So I had been working at Google for about four years, and I noticed that we had some inclusion problems on our team. Some people wouldn't go to our group lunches or speak up in our team meetings. So I went to a diversity and inclusion conference at Google. Unfortunately, rather than talk about how to you know, really include everyone on the team, it just talked about diversity, and specifically racial and di uh, gender diversity at Google. And they said, you know, the population has 50% women, Google has 20% women, therefore sexism. And that was really how deep their argument went. And so they went through all these different things like microaggressions and unconscious bias, and they said that is why we only have 20% women. And after that, they asked for feedback. And you know, I had actually been doing biology in grad school before going to uh, Google, and I knew a little bit about psychology and actually why uh, women might not be, or why there may be fewer women interested in tech. And so I wrote this, uh, the document, and I really explained, OK, these factors we have to take into account if we want to change Google to make it more appealing to more women, and how we could actually uh, fix some of these workplace issues and remove gender from the discussion. So I asked them, OK, what do you think about this document? Am I just in my own echo chamber, or is there actually something here? And it just exploded. Well, so once it leaked out, all the top executives were sending out these disparaging emails about just how harmful it is, don't read it, this is not what we stand for. And uh, then uh, on Monday, they called me up and said, hey, James Moore, you know, you're fired for perpetuating gender stereotypes. Wow. wow, they called you at home on the phone. Yeah, I had been ho at home because I received some violent threats from coworkers. From your coworkers? Yeah. Let's look at differences between men and women that are explicitly anatomical and physiological. Are men taller than women on average? Does anyone take offense at that fact? <laughs> are you well, irritated? So, <laughs> so I would say you could be irritated by it. You could be irritated by the fact that women have to be the ones to gestate and lactate. You could be irritated by a lot of truths. But taking offense is a, is a response that is rejection of reality. So men and women are different on height. They're different on muscle mass. They're different on where fat is deposited on our bodies, right? Our brains are also different. So there are some binaries. Cowards, security. The volume. Can you hear? Can, can everybody hear? All right, well, we're going to raise our voices. The conversation's going to go on. Okay, even the women in there have been brainwashed. I have a really good patch on my jacket. No, you want to film the patches on my jacket. You know, a lot of it was just trying to help our culture at Google and. Uh, but if you look at the surveys now, it seems like about 80% of conservatives uh, feel like they can't speak at all now, which is really disappointing because you know, the psychological safety, which is something that I cite in the document, is just being able to bring your whole self to work and feeling like you can speak up without being harshly judged. And that was you know, one of the main measures that they saw actually improve team performance. But that's precisely what we don't have now which is really unfortunate. I am reacting that way because I want to keep you safe. You're too close. I can't actually get you with this lens if you want to be in. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I'm sorry about that. They very uh, obviously so don't want to be in. Tell, me, tell me about your thoughts. Whatever, tell that's me that's about fine. your thoughts. My thoughts? Yeah, on the event. Why did you do what you did? So if I were to tell you any thoughts about this event, it would be more than this event is worth, honestly. <laughs> like, you can't... But you've come here. You've come here. You can't argue against, like, what is a fact. 
Like, I didn't, I don't pay $2,000 of student fee funds to argue that a triangle is round. Yeah. And they're arguing, not only are they arguing that the memo wasn't set, you know, I'm not even going to engage in that shit. He didn't even mention the parts it. of the memo that were, in fact, accurate to what they are portraying him as, which is saying that there was biological But that actually doesn't matter. Yeah. That actually doesn't matter, because this has never been about James Damore. It's been about freedom of speech, and it's been about exercising power. I'm oppressed. He's oppressed. They kept a strict hold on everyone had to keep the same ideas, and anyone that uh, steers away is seen as sort of an apostate from this religion, and you, know, you have to punish the apostate to keep everyone together. <laughs>